The Army of the Danube was a field army of the French First Republic. Originally named the Army of Observation, it was expanded with elements of the Army of Mainz and the Army of Helvetia. The army had three divisions plus an advance guard, a reserve, and an artillery park. The artillery park was under the command of Jean Ambroise Baston de la Riboisierie and consisted of 33 cannons and 19 howitzers operated by 1,329 non-commissioned officers and cannoneers as well as 60 officers. There were approximately 25,000 members of the army, the role of which was to invade southwestern Germany, precipitating the War of the Second Coalition. The army crossed the Rhine River on 1 March 1799 under the command of Jean-Baptiste Jordan, in the order of battle below. As elements crossed the Rhine, they took the name Army of the Danube. The crossing was completed by 7 March. After passing through the Black Forest, the army fought two battles in quick succession, the Battle of Ostrich on 20-21 March, and Stockich, on 25-26 March. It suffered badly in both engagements and, following the action at Stockich, withdrew to the Black Forest. Jordan established his headquarters at Hornburg, and the reserve cavalry and the cavalry of the advance guard quartered near Offenburg where the horses could find better forage. Initially, the army included five future marshals of France. Its commander-in-chief, Jordan, François-Joseph Lefebvre, Jean-Baptiste Drouet, Laurent de Wouvy and Saint-Cyr, and Édouard Adolphe Casimir Joseph Mortier. After the defeat at Ostrich, the army was reorganized and command shifted to another future marshal, André Massena. Under Massena's command, elements of the army participated in skirmishes in Switzerland. The 11-hour Battle of Winterthur and the First and Second Battles of Zurich. The army was disbanded in November 1799 and its units dispersed among other French field armies by mid-December. Staff Jean-Baptiste Jordan received command of the Army of Observation in September 1798 from its temporary commander, Pierre-Marie Barthélemy Farino. From October to December, he assessed its condition. By 27 February 1799 Moreau had drawn together his general staff and laid out his operational plan for a Danube campaign. General Staff Advance Guard The Advance Guard crossed the Rhine River at Kale and marched to the northeast. Van Damme had been lobbying with Jordan for a larger and more important command but, given the claims of other officers, this was the best Jordan could do for him. Van Damme led the advance guard through the mountains via Freudenstadt. On 5 March, Lefebvre returned to his command. Within a week, part of the advance guard broke off from the main body and, under command of Van Damme, moved to Stuttgart to investigate the rumored presence of Habsburg units. I. Division. The division crossed the Rhine River at Hunningen near Basel, Switzerland, and marched in two columns eastward. The right column, commanded by Jean-Victor Faro, moved along the northern shoreline of the Rhine. The left column, commanded by Jean-Baptiste Jacopin, moved at the northernmost rim of the river valley. From Switzerland, Massena sent a demi-brigade of the Army of Helvetia to secure Schaffhausen part of the Swiss cantons that lie north of the Rhine River. In holding Schaffhausen, Massena ensured the passage of Farino's forward units. Farino's orders were to proceed from Schaffhausen along the north shore of Lake Constance, also called the Bodensee. His left flank was to remain in contact with the two division, to prevent the Austrians from piercing the army's forward line. His advance units were to proceed as far as the Imperial Abbey of Salem. From there, he was instructed to prevent any Austrian reinforcements from Switzerland joining with Archduke Charles, whom Jordan expected to move across the Iller River near Augsburg and advance into Swabia. 2. Division the division followed the advance guard across the Rhine, also at Kale. As it approached the mountains, two division followed the river valleys east of Freudenstadt. At the Battle of Ostrich, two 
Division took position behind François-Joseph Lefebvre's advance guard, on the slope below Fullendorf. At the Battle of Stockage, Suim's division, positioned in the centre, was to coordinate a simultaneous assault with Farino's I. Division on the Austrian left flank. 3. Division The 3rd Division and the reserve also crossed at Kale, and then divided into two columns. 3. Division travelling through the Black Forest via Oberkirch, and the reserve, with most of the artillery park, via the valleys at Freiburg and Breischgau, where the horses would find more forage, and then over the mountains past the Tittersee to Lofingen and Huffingen. At the Battle of Ostrich, after more than 15 hours of general engagement, the Austrians flanked the three divisions left wing and pressed the entire division back to the Fullendorf Heights. At the Battle of Stockage, St. Cyr and Van Damme were to execute simultaneous attacks on the Austrian right flank. St. Cyr on the front and Van Damme from the rear. The attacks failed when Archduke Charles moved support troops from the left flank. Reserve The reserve crossed the river at Kale, swung south toward Freiburg in Breischgau, and crossed the mountains at Neustadt, to Lofingen, Brulingen and Huffingen. When Jordan decided to withdraw, Dort Powell's cavalry moved to the west first, to secure bridges and the east-west roads. At the Battle of Stockage, the reserve was slow to support of Farino's I division, which had run out of ammunition, when a cavalry charged failed to materialize. The Austrians acquired the upper hand. Jordan later charged Dortpool with dereliction. After the Stockage engagement, most of the reserve withdrew to the west side of the Black Forest, where the horses could find forage. But by late April, the reserve had joined with the André Massena's army of Helvetia outside of Zurich. Dortpool joined them in July after he was cleared by a courts martial in Strasbourg. Artillery Park Command Jean Ambroise Baston de Larry Boy's Erie Cannons 33 4 pounders, 21 8 pounders, and 7 12 pounders. Howitzes 19 Personnel 1,329 non-commissioned officers and cannoneers, 60 officers, total 1,389.